Hey, it's Jared. Today we are in Klaviyo and we're going to set up an automation that requests Google Business Reviews. Google Business Reviews are super important because they help customers decide to choose your business over another business because it gives your past customers a way to share their experience. And that experience is used for potential customers to make their decisions. So Google Business Reviews are super important. It's also a ranking factor within Google Business or within Google Search that businesses with a lot of reviews are potentially going to show up higher than those that don't have many reviews. But it's tricky to get people to leave reviews because it's not something that they're naturally thinking about doing. Most people are not leaving every business that they interact with and writing a review. So it takes us as the business owners to make that request and to ask for a review. And we're using Klaviyo for that. One of the reasons that I love Klaviyo is because SMS marketing is at the core of this tool. And SMS marketing is a great way to ask for reviews because it gets past Past the busy email. And if somebody recently did business with you, receiving a text message asking for a review is not really much of an intrusion. And it's something that people are usually happy to help with. So in this video, it's going to be leaning a little bit more towards SMS marketing, but I'll also show you how you utilize email marketing to accomplish this as well. It's essentially the same setup follow through as I go through the setup of this process. But if you want assistance with this, I am a Clavio partner and you can use the link down in the description below to work directly with me. I will set all of this up for you and get everything configured. It's very simple to do. All you have to do is use that link down below. But there's another link alongside of that that gives you access to all of the text and copy that I'm using in this video. So simply go ahead and use that link and you'll get access to all of the copy that's going into either the emails or the SMS for this marketing that we're setting up here. So the first thing that you'll need to set up in Klaviyo is a list an email list that we're going to add these people to or an email slash SMS list. You can see I've got Google review request already created here, but we'll click create list, tap on list, and then we could put Google review requests or something like that as the title. And then we can also apply a tag to them if you'd like, but I typically don't. That's all you need to do and just click create list. Now we're going to go into the flows section. And in the flows section, we have a list of flows if you already have some set up. And there's also some ideas and templates and stuff like that down here. But we're going to create a flow or you would be creating a new flow. And I'm going to walk you through this entire process that we will set up here. That's going to involve a multi-touch setup. Now, what that means is that it's going to be more than one email or more than one text message that potentially gets sent. The reason that we're doing this is because if all it took was sending one email or one text message asking for a review, then we wouldn't need something like Klaviyo. But the problem is, is that most people require a reminder or two before they get around to it. It's not that they are lazy. It's just that when they get the request, it might be during a busy part of their day and they might be distracted and having a reminder that's automated is something that's why we're using Klaviyo. And it results in a much higher rate of potential reviews when having these reminders set up. So let's go through the process here. I'm going to open up my Google review request that's in here and you'll see the flow. Now the workflow is a multi-step process. And so it looks a little bit much because you can see it goes down quite a bit. We're gonna walk through this relatively quickly. So you might want to pause at times, especially if you're setting this up along with me in the video, you'll wanna pause, maybe go back a little bit. But essentially when you set up a new flow, it's gonna ask you how that flow is to be triggered. Now this flow is to be triggered when somebody subscribes to the Google review request. People aren't gonna be subscribing themselves to this. We are going Going to be manually adding new people to the list. And when they're added to that list that we already created, then this flow would trigger and this flow would send them through the process. So you can see over here on the left, we've got actions, email and SMS. Now, this particular flow is an SMS flow, but if you were going to set up email, you can easily just do exactly what I'm doing, but utilize the email option as well. And as I mentioned earlier, all of the text that I would use in an email is available at that link below. So you'd simply grab SMS and drag it in here, and then we would edit this new property. And this new SMS property is simply going to be a short text message. Clavio is going to add the name of the business at the top, and then we'll add in the body. Thanks for your business. And you can see it's going to pull in the person's name. Now under insert properties, we could do a search for name 
and then we can click on first name and it would drop the first name in here. Now it shows up as a bit of code because that is telling the flow to bring in the person's first name. And Clavio would have the person's first name because we add it when we add them to the list. When we add them to the list, we're adding their first and last name, their mobile phone number, and their email address. So four things that we're adding to the list. And then from those properties, we could pull into this SMS to make it more personalized. And then I would add in, please take a moment and review us on Google. And then you're gonna wanna add the direct link to your Google Business Reviews page. Now, how you get that is when you're logged in to your Google Business account, you would go to Google, you would do a search for your business because Google's now trying to show all of the business information in Google search, even the parts that we edit. You would then click on reviews. You'll see a button that says get more reviews. And then when you click on get more reviews, there will be a nice link and use that link because then when somebody clicks on this link, it's going to open it up right to the review page. There's no clicking around for the customer to do. If there's clicking around, they're gonna get lost and they might not be able to find it. We wanna make it as easy as possible. So make sure to use that link so that it goes directly to it. One of the other benefits of using SMS is that they're gonna get that SMS on their phone. They'll click on the link in their phone, it'll open it up in their Google Maps app and then they can write a review or it'll open it up in their browser if they don't have the Google Maps app and then they can write a review easily. And they might even have some photos that they can attach to that review. And so they could do all of that right from their phone, which is a much easier and faster process than having to do it on the computer. However, they can do this on their computer as well, but in the SMS, they'd be getting it on their phone. So make sure to paste that link there and then you get a preview of what that SMS will look like here. Clavio is going to automatically shorten that link. You can see there's an option here to turn that off. I would recommend utilizing, and you kind of have to utilize the shortened link. You can see here, click rates won't be available for this message. So it won't know that somebody clicked on the link. And we need to know if somebody clicked on the link because if somebody clicks on the link, chances are they're going to write a review and we probably shouldn't bother them with more follow-up text messages. There's no way for Clavio to actually go to Google and check to see, did they write a re review? Did they not write a review? There's no way to connect that. So we're gonna rely on the fact that if somebody clicked on the link, that they probably went and wrote a review and we won't bother them with more text messages. If somebody's not ready to write a review or they don't have the time, they're probably not gonna click on that link yet and they'll probably click on it later. So that's how we're gonna tell whether somebody should move further through this SMS or email flow. So you can see here we have our first SMS and then we have a trigger set up for wait one day. If somebody doesn't click on that link, we wanna wait a day before bothering them again. It might take them a little bit of time. They think, oh, well, I'll do that when I get home or I'll do that first thing tomorrow morning. We just wanna make sure that we're not bothering them too soon. And so we wait a day and so we'll add a step. And so we simply do that by choosing time delay and dragging time delay into the flow. And then for the settings on the time delay, we choose one day. Now, after that, we're gonna add a conditional split. A conditional split is this logic option right here that we would click and drag over, and it's a yes or no type of deal. Now, if we click on conditional split, this gets a little bit trickier here. So you've got to look at the options that we have available. What's interesting about this is that some of these are not going to show up correctly until you've actually tested this once. And so sometimes you might need to go over and save this flow and put yourself through it so that you get the text message click on the link so that Clavio knows what processes you are wanting to have happen and it has a record of how all of that's going to work. So you might actually have to go through the process a little prematurely as you create each of these steps. Usually you don't have to, but right now what we're gonna be choosing for this conditional split is what somebody has done or not done from the drop down list, clicked SMS because we want them, if they've clicked a link in the SMS, and we could put at least once over all time, or we can also choose since starting this flow. Since starting this flow would probably be the best option. We want that to be confined to this flow because they might've received an SMS from another flow or another setup that we have in our Clavio account. We don't want this to not trigger because they clicked on an SMS in another campaign or an email link in another campaign. So we've got that set up here. And if it's yes, then they just get a thanks message, a thanks text message. And so that thanks text message 
is simply, thanks for clicking on the Google review link. Your opinion matters. And that's all that we need to really send. Nothing too crazy. That is the response that they would get if they clicked on the link. Now, if they don't click on the link, and this is a day later, so keep in mind this text message would come a day later when the flow reaches this stage. And then the flow would say, oh, they did click on the link. And so a day later they get a thank you text message. And that could also act as a reminder as well. Or maybe they didn't finish the review. This would remind them to go ahead and finish the review. But if they didn't click on it at all, they would move on to the next stage, which is another text message. So we'll go ahead and Look at what that text message says. It starts with their first name, comma. Your review helps others find us so we can serve them well, just as we did you. Please review us. And then a link to the Google review again so that people have that text message right front and center and ready to click. Very simple, we'll just save that one. We are then going to wait one day again and we'll set up the same type of condition. So we've got one day wait, which is the same thing we set up earlier, another conditional split. And so when we look at that conditional split, I'm gonna, also gonna change this one too since starting this flow again and I'll click save. Then the same thank you. So if yes, they get the same thank you. Thanks for clicking on the Google review link. Your opinion matters. But if they didn't click on the link yet, they get a longer text message. So we'll click on this text message and we'll see what it says. This text message says, hope you had a chance to review us. If not, no worries. We hope that our service was sufficient and that we get a chance to serve you again later. Here is the link to the Google review one last time. We won't bother you again about this. Maybe somebody isn't writing a review because they're on the fence. They're trying to decide, I don't know, my experience was okay, or you know, I don't like writing reviews that aren't five star or whatnot. Maybe they're on the fence about something, but we also want to give them the thought that maybe we're unsure as to whether they had a good experience. We want them to feel a little bit of unease about having not written a review yet. And that's what this text message or email would hopefully produce is a little bit of worry and maybe they're thinking, no, no, I better go and write a review for them because I want them to know they did a great job. So then after that, we add a one day wait, we add another conditional split, and then yes, if they clicked on the link, they get that thank you message. If they didn't click on the link, nothing is gonna happen, it's just exit. They're at the end of this flow and nothing else is gonna happen. So what's great about this setup is that it's gentle reminders along the way with a little bit more of a tug at their hopeful heartstrings at the end to get them over the hump of writing us a review. You can do this exact same thing with email. So I would set up either an SMS flow and perhaps even an email flow as well because if we aren't using SMS for a specific person, we need email to go as well. Just keep in mind that if you're going to do these separately and have separate flows for both email and SMS, you'll also want a separate list as well because if you use the same list and you have an SMS and an email, then the people, your customers could potentially get both the SMS and the email. So if that's something that you want, you can use one list and they would get both an email and a text message, which double coverage, nothing wrong with that. Or if you wanted to keep it separate, then you can use an individual list for each and add them to both of those lists or one of those lists separately. Now, typically what I also do after time is I go and clean up this list and because all those people are in that list, whether they wrote a review or didn't write a review, and I also wanna add those people to my newsletter as well. Another thing that I could do is also go ahead and create a segment, and that segment would be people that were within that list that received the flow and made it a specific distance through the flow and create a segment, and so that way I can have people who wrote reviews or people who at least clicked the links versus people who didn't, and I could send out an email campaign to them accordingly. There's just so many things that you can do here in Klaviyo, which is one of the reasons that I use it, even though this particular Klaviyo account is not linked to an online store. Klaviyo doesn't have to be used just with e-commerce sites. It can be used for any type of business. So I hope you enjoyed this Klaviyo tutorial on how to set this up. Use the links below if you need them. And if you have any questions or any thoughts, make sure to share them in the comment section below. But that's going to do it for this video. Thanks for being here. Give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and I hope to see you back in another one soon. Take care.